The 1st Marine Division was established on February 1, 1941. This division was involved in the Pacific Theater in World War II. It is the oldest and biggest Marine Division in the U.S. to this day and currently includes more than 19,000 Marines. Its nickname is the Old Breed and it's responsible for land and amphibious attacks. Four main battles that the 1st Marine Division was crucial in was at Guadalcanal, Cape Gloucester, Peleliu, and Okinawa. This helped the American war effort in a strategy called island hopping, or at the strategic taking of islands in order to eventually destroy all Japanese resistance. With the attack of Guadalcanal, the assault of the many Pacific islands held by the Japanese began. When the 1st Marine Division landed on the beaches, they found the island to be heavily defended and became a ferocious six-month struggle that resulted in over 3,000 Marine casualties. Dunstan 9. They were led by Major General Alexander Vandegrift, and their operation became known as Watchtower. Because of the extensive time fighting, the Marines ran out of supplies quite frequently and were forced to salvage equipment and food off dead Japanese soldiers. The Japanese soldiers presented unheard of resistance despite their high casualties and frequently suicidally attacked and killed soldiers despite the certainty of being shot by American forces. However, the Americans held despite all odds and defeated the Japanese at Guadalcanal, beginning a series of victories that would prove unstoppable. Cape Gloucester This battle took place on Cape Gloucester on New Britain. The troops were led by Major General William H. Rupertus as part of Operation Cartwheel, which was meant to neutralize and isolate the main Japanese base of Rabaul on Papua New Guinea. The conditions here proved to be extremely adverse due to dense jungle and non-stop downpour. These conditions caused rotting of shoes, rifles, and all manner of metal equipment. As was said in the spotlight on Marine Heroes, weapons and ammunition corroded almost in front of men's eyes. However, not much resistance was encountered and the Marines secured the position quite easily. The securing of Cape Gloucester allowed the U.S. to continue with their assault of Papua New Guinea and helped restrict the Japanese Navy from reinforcing Rabaul. Peleliu is located in the Palau Island Group and was some of the fiercest fighting seen in the war. The battle was predicted to last a total of three days but ended up taking two months due to the numerous hiding places and spider holes that the Japanese had and were able to fire from. This caused a high amount of casualties which numbered close to 2,000 for the 1st Marines Division alone. The hot and humid conditions worsened matters and as there was little vegetation along the coast due to bombings, there was little cover for the Marines for the initial fighting. Furthermore, while on the island, quote unquote, an unfortunate event occurred where a number of drums that were carrying water had not been cleaned properly after they had been used to store aviation fuel, which resulted in a number of needless casualties from sickness. Anhill. However, the island was taken in the end despite the hardships and was a great victory for American forces. The taking of this island eliminated a large amount of the best Japanese troops and helped prepare the soldiers for the taking of Okinawa. Okinawa. The Battle of Okinawa was the biggest amphibian attack of World War II and the one of the fiercest battles in the entire Pacific theater. For the Marines' attack on the beaches, they were under heavy fire and had to fight hard for every single small victory they made. Also, incessant rain turned the beaches into mud which only slowed progress further. Furthermore, Japanese kamikaze pilots destroyed U.S. ships and demoralized the soldiers. In a primary account, a 1st Marine Division said that the Japanese comes out of his and pillboxes to prowl and inf infiltrate, ordeal of Okinawa. These soldiers often killed and mutilated American soldiers in the night, which further destroyed the peace of the soldiers. Marines began staying up all night to combat these attacks and thus became tired and gained little rest. What ground the Marines finally did manage to capture proved to be permeated by Japanese spider, spider holes and hidden dugouts where enemy soldiers exacted more casualties on the unsuspecting soldiers. Finally, after almost three months, the island was taken, but the 1st Marine Division had been reduced to much smaller numbers. This island was a great victory for America, as it was one of the closest and most strongly held islands in the Pacific. However, it made America realize that if a small island was defended this strongly, the mainland would be near impossible to take without unheard of casualties. This prompted the eventual use of the atomic bomb. 
The 1st Marine Division contributed to the war effort in three main ways. The taking of strategic islands for the strategy of island hopping, their role in Operation Cartwheel, and the destruction of valuable Japanese troops. The 1st Marine Division contained some of the most battle-hardened and experienced soldiers in the U.S. arsenal. Without them, the difficult task of taking islands such as Guadalcanal and Peleliu would have been impossible. Because of them, the strategy of island hopping was a success, and America worked its way across the Pacific to gain influence over many of Japan's prior possessions. Their important role in Operation Cartwheel, although eventually unnecessary due to a quick end of the war with the atomic bomb, stopped a significant amount of Japanese naval traffic in the area, and therefore hurt the Japanese military effort. Lastly, in battles such as Okinawa, where many Japanese soldiers were taken as prisoners of war or killed, the Japanese army began to become weaker, and as a result, the American war effort was benefited. All of these three main ideas for the importance of the 1st Marine Division were reasons why this division was crucial to the Pacific theater and helped America eventually win the war against Japan.